done something wrong, turn to Allah immediately. Promise Allah never again. I won't do this again. Never. It's not worth it. Wallahi, we are insan. We are human. We do falter. We do fall. But at the same time, turn back to Allah. He is merciful. He will forgive you. But don't plan to commit a sin again. It's like always we say, the four conditions of asking Allah's forgiveness, to admit your sin, to regret it, to promise, Allah, to promise you're not going to do it again. In fact, to admit, to regret, to ask for forgiveness and to promise never to do it again. Four things. Did you hear those four? Can I say them again? Admit your sin, regret it, ask Allah to forgive you for the sin. And at the same time, promise not to do it again. If those conditions are met, any sin between you and Allah is wiped out. Wiped out without ever being mentioned again. When you repent again from the same sin, that second repentance is now repenting for a sin that's no longer existing. So what it does is it elevates your status in the eyes of Allah. To say this person is still concerned about something I've already forgiven them a long time ago that shows that they love me. It shows that they worship me and me alone. So that is an elevation of your status. Subhanallah. But if a person commits the same sin again and again, like I've always said, you need to ask Allah's forgiveness again and again. And on condition that when you are asking Allah's forgiveness, you haven't planned to sin, to repeat the sin. When I'm asking Allah's forgiveness, I must say never again. I can't say, Oh Allah, I committed this sin. I admit it. Ya Allah, I regret it. I ask you to forgive me. I won't commit it. I won't ever do it again. And then you stop for a moment and say, I might just do it again. Astaghfirullah. That's not what we want. You will not do it again. Then sometime later, if shaitan gets hold of you and the same sin is repeated, go back and repeat the same four stages. Go back. You never lose hope in the mercy of Allah. And this is why we say when you're in good company, when you have, when you have some positive speech coming in your direction, which motivates you and reminds you by the will of Allah, you will be able to become a much better person. This is why Allah says in Surah Al Imran, verse number 133, Make haste, rush towards the forgiveness of Allah. Don't delay. That's what it means. If you delay, you have no guarantee that you will die in the condition of Islam. No guarantee. This is why in another verse Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu allaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimoon. O you who believe be conscious of Allah as he is supposed to be conscious, as you are supposed to be conscious of him. And do not die except in the condition of submission. Which means lead your entire life in a way that if you were to die right here, right now, you would not be embarrassed. It would be something good. If any one of us were to die here, right here, right now, subhanallah, and our hearts are softened and we've just shed tears for the sake of Allah, oh Allah, my ways and my bad habits and all the struggling and the suffering I've gone through, ya Allah, I will bear sabr for your sake, grant me Jannah. And then suddenly you just die. What will happen? You think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to doom you to say, nah, nah, you know what, not you, because it wasn't supposed to be there. No, astaghfirullah, no way. It's the mercy of Allah. He knows and he knows when you're going to go. Part of his mercy is that he did not tell us when we are going to die. He kept that knowledge with him. Imagine if we knew our date of death, we would commit sin. Say, for example, a person who's going to live for exactly 70, 69 years and 350 days, 55 days, commit sin complete. And when four days are left, Allahu Akbar, Allah forgive me, we would be hypocrites. But part of the mercy of Allah to keep us on track is that he did not tell us when you're going to go. وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ بِأَيِّ أَرْضٍ تَمُوتُ No one knows even on what earth or what land they will die. They have no guarantee of it. It's up to Allah. So, if you take a look at the verse I just read before you about of Surah Al Imran, where Allah says, make haste towards the forgiveness of Allah. And that would be making haste towards paradise. وَجَنَّةٍ It is maghfirah and jannah come together. Look at what Allah says. Sari'u ila maghfiratim min rabbikum wa jannah. Make haste to towards the forgiveness of your Rabb and the paradise. The two of them come hand in hand. Subhanallah. One does not come with the other. If you are not forgiven, how are you going to go to paradise? Subhanallah. 